Beram stands above a fertile valley only 15 minutes from the seashore, yet in the heart of the Istrian Peninsula. This town was first mentioned in written documents in the year 911, when it was one of the most important centers of medieval Glagolite literacy. The Beram Fraternity of St. Mary thus summoned Master Vincent of Kostov to come here in 1474 and entrusted to him the decoration of the interior of the Church of St. Mary at Shkrilinach. Today this church, built one kilometer away from Beram, preserves one of the most impressive creations of medieval painting. Prior to visiting this small church in Beram, you must seek out the caretaker, who will unlock the doors and allow you to experience that far-off time in an evocative silence and resplendent beauty of color and pictures. It is akin to reading some magical comic strip or paging through a colorful picture book, slowly uncovering the story of Christ's life. To be sure, the story, as it was seen by Master Vincent with his two assistants. When these coloristically striking frescoes were made, most master painters were illiterate, just like the populace for whom these ingenious images were created. However, Master Vincent himself was not illiterate, as demonstrated by his signature on the wall written in glagolitic letters. Glagolitic inscriptions and comments on the frescoes can be found throughout the church. They were put there by Glagolite priests, who stopped off here during their travels, and then used a sharp object to carve their comments, something considered neither unusual nor unseemly at the time. Master Vincent divided the scenes from the lives of Mary and Jesus into 46 sections, and the largest of these features a colorful procession on horseback for the homage to the king and the allegorical dance macabre. Upon examining these frescoes, we can observe the status of the townspeople and their manner of dress and what was important to the people bound to Istria's red soil. The skeletons here beckon the living to join them in a last dance. Some of them hold musical instruments, while some brandish weapons and laugh as they prod the frightened dancers. The procession thus includes the Pope and Cardinals, the Bishop and King and Queen, and the innkeeper and the child, the disfigured, the laborer, and the serf. Everyone is the same because death is everyone's fate, and this unification of all stations and death guarantees a just punishment or reward that will be meted out on Judgment Day. In the 18th century, during the Baroque era, this small church was expanded and renovated, and part of the fresco was painted over and concealed, and the view above was closed off by a wooden coffered ceiling, which remains in place even today. In 1913, the frescoes were once more uncovered and restored, and they shall certainly tell their lovely, remote, yet never forgotten stories for ages to come, and in part on all who come here with a sense of peace and tranquility and knowledge of an aesthetic which has its place in eternity.